First up on the box from Scottsdale, Arizona, please welcome Ricky Wysocki. <laughs> Saki now on the tee of two. Very nice from Ricky. Beautiful, just, just soft bend. And Ricky steps up and cans the birdie. There is a bunker long left of the basket as well. Bunker of trees. Wysocki going with the forehand, very aggressive capitalize on some of the looks that he's had. And then you see a Waisaki just jamming him in from any distance. Ricky from about half the distance that we just saw from Williams now has this left for par. So 390 feet here, pretty much dead straight. Most of the players are gonna throw a mid-range disc. Just kinda put it on a line, let the disc do the work. and they're just trying to judge the distance perfectly to drift just in front of that long tree line. And Waisaki knew it. About two thirds of the way there, he started to run it in. I mean, what an advantage to throw a slow disc over the water here. Yeah, it's so impressive, and wow, Wysocki. I'm talking a disc length just in front of an ace right there, guys. Still in the sights of Radalin. Two holes left to play, Wysocki. Next step for him is to get to double digits. And he'll have that left to do just, uh, just that, gets a 10 under. You know if you're shooting a five or six down, you're, you're feeling dejected. Right, because there's 30 players between you and the top of the leaderboard. Just a stock shot all day long here for Waisaki, trying to get to 11 under. Asking for it not to roll. It does a little, just as you called it, Nate. Almost every disc does just that. And there you have it, your lead card tomorrow. Ben Calloway, Cole Radalin, Kyle Klein, and Isaac Robinson. Pretty dead on for Ricky. He's going to go straight out. This is a great play. We'll catch up with Waisaki on the second. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He went seven for seven, actually. Seven <coughs> last seven holes, he was seven under par. <laughs> and Ricky Waisaki looking to be three under par through the three holes. Waisaki will have to deal with this one tree. This is for the par. <laughs> Does anybody scramble better than Ricky Waisaki? Check back in with uh, Nate Perkins on that in a moment. First, Waisaki. We saw him lace this one yesterday. Rinse and, and repeat. Yeah, it looks like the nearly identical shot. Even closer, actually, than what he was yesterday. Ricky's going to go to the backhand. I just think it plays better as the backhand starts to flatten out around this corner. Money. Oh, great execution. Waisaki from half that distance. Putting yourself in a position off the tee where you can't gain a bunch of distan distance on the second shot. It's par five, remember, on 10. Saki comes crashing in. And Rick does have a straddle putt. Doesn't seem like much obstruction. And we have Ricky Waisaki live throwing his third shot. Nate about that position and that distance. Here's Waisaki though first on the 11th. 
hoping that just slows down. And Waisaki just deep at the pin. Waisaki looking for a share of the lead. He can do that with a made birdie putt here. Just makes it look so easy. What great weight on this putt. Look at how it comes in just right over the rim, bottom of the chains. Beautiful putt from Ricky. I'm going to avoid that word for now. <laughs> I'm having trouble with it, but you don't need to go that high, but it, it worked out. You got the U.S. champion, the world champion, the defending champion here at the Preserve, and Gannon Burr. I cannot wait for tomorrow's round. Kind of playing along this out of bounds, and he's going to have to get a late little hyzer. You can just see the flag of the basket there. Really well done. Bullseye hit for Waisaki. Ricky looking to bounce back. This stays flat, maybe catches an edge. It'll carry right to the pin. Good drive for Waisaki. Boy, Ricky's got that one tree in his way. He's going to have to try to swoop a big hyzer around it. Deep in circle two. Yes, Waisaki around the tree. <laughs> I mean, let's go. Let's go. Isaac threw down the gauntlet in the first three holes, and Ricky has responded after the missed hole two. What a putt from Ricky. Rick looking for another circle two connection. These are insane <laughs> putts, dude. Oh, wow. Just unreal. Waisaki from 54 feet, elevated pin. And it's not even the putting style, it's the confidence. I mean, look at his eyes. They're not off the basket. He, he knows that's going in, out of his hand. We've seen a lot of players in the earlier rounds go straight at it, just getting over that front wall. But all four guys today going way right and trying to swing it in late. Two of the guys doing it perfectly. The other two unable to do it, but they're still safe. And I think that's kind of that defensive play here on number 11. Yes! Isaki from 40 feet. Oh my goodness, this is just insane. He's unstoppable. Unbelievable. I mean, just what a putt, so much commitment. There was never a doubt. It's that didn't trickle in, that didn't catch high chain and then fall in. It was dead center. It's the confidence, Terry. The confidence, the putts he's made already so far in this tournament. Wow, Ricky took the really wide gap going to pay off so far closest to the pin. We're going to see a star frame here. Because Waisaki is also in. He remains one behind our co-leaders in Robinson and Klein. Ricky with an opportunity. Big opportunity. Both guys, you know, kind of in questionable spots. This is low and skipping up to the pin. Waisaki will have a short range birdie luck. He also has the advantage of winning this tournament twice. He's had to make these shots on these holes before. It looks like he's got it. It's got the distance, though. That's going to be closest to the pin. Waisaki with the advantage here on the 16th. Waisaki birdies the 16th. He moves to 32 under. We have a three-way tie for first place with two holes to play. It's the OB that's beyond and right that makes this such a touch shot. Waisaki asking for it to get up and he's parked it. Waisaki will move to 33 under. Looking unstoppable now. Waisaki 
is going to carry that into the 18th. Robinson is in for the par. It, it's so monumental because the fact that Ricky has a one-stroke lead. Let's go. If this is in bounds, Isaac's going to 100% need an eagle. Ricky's looking to close the curtain here. Oh, boy, what a stripe. It's perfect. That is perfectly aggressive defensive. Not that difficult a shot here. Pretty stock for Ricky. Wow, went way inside, though. Yeah, more than he'd like. It's heading right at the basket. It needs to just check up, and it does. Ricky Wysocki on the green in two. Yeah, layup for the win. That should do it. And for the third time, Ricky Wysocki, your preserved championship, connected by Microsoft Teams winner, Ricky Wysocki. Ricky, you just did the Raptors legs with the bear, man. How does it feel? It felt like a workout. This thing's heavy, so <laughs> doing the high steps with the with the bears. Uh, no, it's a it's a great feeling, and uh, yeah, I told I told Kale before the before the tournament that if I win three bears, that this one's coming home. This specific one, so I got I got to uh, somehow find a way to get this thing home. It's heavy, uh, but I feel like I earned it, and uh, this thing is this thing means a lot. Ricky, you held off the kids once again, man. Talk about the perseverance today. You nearly missed the Mando on two, the only bogey of your whole tournament. Talk about what you had to do to dig deep today. Yeah, I mean, that was a big momentum shift for sure. Um, just threw a real bad shot on two. But, yeah, I think that, you know, for me, that's something I do really well is I'm able to bounce back and have that, that mental edge. And I feel like I kept that today, and that's what makes me play the, uh, my best disc golf. And so I was able to do that at the right moments and hit some big putts like I do. And, uh yeah, I think you know that's 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 my game, and I'm just glad I could display it today and at Kale's amazing course here and uh, grab another bear. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this this place is so special, Ricky. Talk about the 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 electricity on the putt on hole 11. There's like 2,000 spectators right in front of the fans. You hit a big one, man. What's that feel like? It's awesome. I think I always give. I always feel like that hole gives a lot of entertainment. <laughs> I'm all over the place on the drive, and then I'm hitting putts from everywhere. But uh, yeah, I mean, that, just creating that atmosphere with the bleachers, and that hole's turned into an amazing atmosphere for the players and for the spectators. So it's awesome that, that we're able to showcase our skills right there, and just this property in general. I know it's uh, Kale's done a great job, and you know, I know he's he's you know new ownership and everything, and you know every 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 time. You know, we come out here, it's just in great shape, and there's, there's really nothing to complain about out here. It's, you know, it's just fun disc golf. This is, you feel like a kid in a candy store. All the shots are just so fun, and, uh, yeah, you, you know, that's, that's, that's what it's all about, and we love coming here. Yeah, Minnesota, one more time for the Raptor, Ricky Wysocki. Did you enjoy that video? Why not click on one more? Better yet, why don't you subscribe to the Disc Golf Pro Tour and catch more Disc Golf Pro Tour content on YouTube.